So uh, we are going to use one example to go through all the key concepts we used for the cost profit analysis, cost of volume profit analysis. So suppose ABC company manufactures a product, maybe a chess, that sells for $50 per unit. ABC incurs a variable cost per unit of $30 and $3.4 million in total fixed cost to produce this product. Uh, let's assume uh, they are currently uh, selling 200,000 units. We assume the product they are selling is the, the chess. Okay, the first question is calculate and label the contribution margin per unit and contribution margin ratio. So we know the unit selling price is $50 and the unit variable cost is $30 and the difference is the contribution margin per unit which is $20. To calculate the contribution margin ratio we use contribution margin per unit divided by selling price so the contribution margin ratio is $20 divided by $50 equals 40%. The second and third equation is using the contribution margin per unit and contribution margin ratio to calculate the break-even point in units and in dollar amounts. Okay, so we have the fixed cost is 3.4 million and divided by the contribution margin per unit, $20. So the break-even point is 170,000 units. We use fixed cost 3.4 million divided by contribution margin ratio, 40%. We get $8.5 million break-even in dollar sales. The fourth question is calculate the margin of safety and the margin of safety ratio. So the sales, is, the actual sales is 200,000 units times $50, which is 10 million, minus the break-even dollar, break dollars in sales, 8.5 million. So I have $1.5 million margin of safety. And that divided by the total sales, 10 million, we have 15% margin of safety ratio. The fifth question is, calculate the number of units that must be sold in order to generate net in, uh, operating income of four, uh, 400,000 units, $400,000 using the contribution margin per unit. So the formula is we are using the fixed cost 3.4 million plus the desired operating income 400,000 dollars divided by the contribution per unit $20. The answer is $1.9 million, 1.9 million, uh, 190,000 units. The last question is, should ABC give a commission to its salesperson based on 10% of sales if it will decrease the fixed cost by $400,000 and increase sales volume by 10%, support your answer with labels, labeled calculation. If we accept this proposal, the contribution margin per unit will be reduced because you pay the uh, salesperson's commission. So $50 selling price minus the sales commission 10% of 50, and the minus variable cost of $30, we get $15. And the number of units sold will increase by 10%. So 200,000 200, units times uh, 1 plus 10%, that's 
220,000 units. So the total contribution margin would be the two numbers multiplication, 220,000 times 15 equals 3.3 .3 million dollars. Then we minus the fixed cost. The fixed cost will be uh, $400,000 less so from the 3.4 million, so then it's going to be $3 million. So operating income will be 300000 If we do not receive this, accept this proposal, the operating income equals contribution margin minus the fixed cost. The contribution margin is the $20 per unit times 200,000 units minus fixed cost to 340,000. We have 600,000. So if we accept the proposal, the operating income is 300,000, will be lower than the 600,000. And the difference would be $300,000. Okay, so I hope this helps explain this question.